Hello, I would like to show you a little bit uh, a review of the 737 Copic. Uh, we are now in Palma de Mallorca airport. We have uh, engines not running, so the only electricity we have now is the battery. Uh, we are connected to an external source. Uh, we have the ground power. You can see ground power available light is on. We we have we are working with the, the battery that is in this charge. And here you have uh, ground power and uh, you can see that everything is in zero. When we push one power, one power switch, now we have the battery discharge off and now we are uh, connected to the ground power. Uh, the first uh, part of the overhead is the flight control panel. This is used when we have an hydraulic uh, failure. We actually, uh, let's see, when we move the yoke, there is not any movement because there is no hydraulics. If we have a, a problem during the flight, we set this switch to standby. You saw that there was a low pressure uh, light that extinguished and low quantity also. Now, you can see that when we move, we have uh, movements in the yoke, in the ailerons and elevator. Okay. So let's put it in a normal position. The same would happen with the flaps. If what now we try to move the flap, there will not be any movement here in the flap indicator. But if we set the alternate flaps into arm, and now we, we, we have the, the flap uh, position in one, and then we push down, the flap uh, will begin to, to move to the first position. It takes uh, about uh, 30 seconds to, to go to the correct position. Okay, you can see it's actually moving to the first position. To off. Okay, next panel is the navigation panel, a uh, display panel to control the displays of each uh, uh, view screen. Then we have the uh, fuel uh, system, we have the fuel temperature that is actually about 20 degrees. And um, you have uh, we have a center tank and wind tanks. Each one has uh, different uh, pumps. Um, this is the center pumps, um, left wing and right wing pumps. Here we have uh, readings of the different parts of the electrical uh, of the plane. We actually just have um, readings in the ground power because it's the only thing is connected. Okay, then we have the standby power switch to change between the the battery and the and the ground power. Okay, and uh, but uh, the the um, generators of the engines, the right generator, left generator, and this is the APU generators. Okay, uh, we will put the, the APU on just for you to to see. We put the this uh, fuel pump on, and then push the start button. You see the AGT temperature is going going up. An APU generator of push light will light in seconds. 
Okay, that's it. So now when we push, now the plane is working with the with the APU um, generator. Okay, so let's move ahead. We have a circuit breaker uh, lights, equipped cooling, uh, and we can have the uh, in normal or alternative emergency exit lights. Uh, no smoking and fasten seat belts uh, switches. We can put it off, auto or on. Okay. Let's see. We have the attend button. Okay. Left and right uh, wipers. And if we move a little bit ahead, we have uh, window heat and probe heat. This is something that we must uh, turn on when with engine running. Okay, so we would put in the off position. We have um, wing anti-ice and engine anti-ice. These bombs, it has different lights. When the uh, when it's in transit, it's uh, bright. When the valve is open, it's uh, in dim. You see, bright, dim. Same with the wing anti-ice. Then we have the hydraulic pumps. We have uh, two electrical pumps and two engine pumps. Here we have the, the doors of the plane. The ones uh, illuminated are the, the ones that are open. We have the copic boy recorder. There is a test to, to delete it. The status is on. Then we have the pressurization panel uh, to know to know the, the pressurization of the plane. This is the alt horn cut out, that it will, there is a horn, if at 10,000 feet uh, cabin altitude, the, 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 the plane is not pressurized, uh, there will be a horn, okay? We move here. We have the air temperature for the plane, for three different parts of the plane. Uh, here we have the pneumatic system, uh, there are two arrows, one for each uh, side of uh, the engine. Okay, then we have uh, this part of the um, pressurization system of the plane. We set the uh, flight altitude and landing altitude. Uh, and if we put in auto, the, pl the plane will uh, pressurize the, uh, the plane uh, man, uh, automatically. We can do it also in manual, but we have to open or close the, the valve. Okay, so that's here. We have the lights, landing lights, tar uh, runaway turn off lights, uh, taxi lights, this is the APU, um, igniters. We have uh, left, right, and both. We have the uh, to, to switch on the, the engines. And logo, strobe, position, anti-collision, wing, and wing well uh, lights. If we move a little bit down, we have, well, the, the yoke. Let's put this is normal position. This is the EFIS. We can choose uh, between different things to see the weather ra radar, station, waypoint, airports, uh, data of the flight, position, and terrain. Then we, this is the MCP. We can choose the course. We can put the auto throttle on. We here we select the speed we want, heading, altitude, and we have four different uh, autopilots. Two of them are CMD, and the other two ones are uh, control wheel steering. That uh, that makes the plane to behave uh, like the like an Airbus. Uh, we will make a video uh, to explain this more in depth. Uh, if we move 
down, we have the DU uh, screens. Here we have uh, the primary flight display. We have speed, altitude, uh, different modes that we can choose. For example, throttle, we can select heading, many things. Now, we, because the, the, uh, the plane is not uh, uh, running, it's not working, but let's see. For the, we, here we have the auto brakes, landing gear lights, we have uh, inoperative two of them. Uh, this uh, bottom is used to know what uh, lights of the plane are not working. In this case, you can see that we have the, the green lights uh, inoperative. Okay. The pedestal, we have uh, two different uh, radios, uh, uh, transponder, the printer, rudder trim, Two ADF fire panel. Here is the test, and here we have the throttle, the chin, spoiler, flap lever, trim wings. And this is the computer of the plane, that is the FMC. So I hope you enjoy this uh, fast review of the systems. Um, as I told you, we will make uh, different videos uh, explaining every part of, the, of each system. So thank you very much.